So good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time of day it is for you. For me, I think it's about 10 o'clock. And you join me on a 20, well it's the current model, uh, Sinus Terrain 125. Uh, this is, whoops. Unlike the T80 that I took out, which will probably go up before this video, uh, this is a current iteration bike. They do have the new prototype for the 2021 the Euro compliant, but they're not taking that one out for a demo. Uh, so this is basically a 125 air-cooled engine and I think it's with like 10 horsepower yeah we've got the engine management light on we'll just ignore that and this is probably Oh, that's an odd sensation. This is actually, when you look at the market, the only sort of bike like this uh, that's new. Uh, you had the Honda Valadero 125, which isn't made anymore. And you have this. Uh, and it's relatively cheap Whoa, that's a hot weed. yeah it's relatively cheap in the grand scheme of things I think it's about 2-4 I'm probably wrong I will put a picture of the spec sheet up and you get obviously everything you see, panniers, centre stand and actually, being that I ride the CB500X um, so it's, I'm used to this style of bike albeit just not with this little of power it's a really nice bike to ride Uh, as you can tell, it does make quite a bit of noise out the rear, and that's because it has a uh, Toro Canon. I can't remember if it's a can or a full system. I uh, will have to ask, find out, and I'll put it on screen. But apart from that, it's completely standard. But, it's, I fit this one quite well, my knees are jabbering slightly with the cutouts, but it's not painful, it's just irritating, over time you would get used to that. I mean, I've done slow riding down, There's a Pootala down these back roads. It's good, I'm enjoying it. Obviously being a 125 you've got to remember that, well I have to remember 
that it's not the CB500X, which I'm so used to riding, that yeah, I actually do have to sort of drop it a gear. But it's really quite nice. So what's this? Just four and a half thousand, fourth gear, 30 mile an hour. There's a nice little bit of coat there. But certainly coming around these 30s and 40s, this bike is in a mind of its own, a mind of its own, in a world of its own. It's uh, part of the reason why I still have this unfound love of 125s. It's the only, one of the few reasons why I've actually taken this out today. And there's a uh, Lex Motor Michigan. Yeah, it's one of the only reasons that I've really brought this out is because I still have a love of that 125. And it was there. The demos are on it. And nobody was booked for it. They all want that. Uh, they're all trying out the 380, which I was fortunate to take out yesterday. Of course, bigger bike would have handled that a little better. Oh. But you know what? You... I'm not complaining. I am actually liking this little bike. The seat is soft, and uh, I wonder how over time if it's sort of too soft, and over time it. As you can do in distance, it becomes uncomfortable. But oh, it's flickable. I'm just enjoying the ride, which is something you just tend to do with one two five. You just tend to enjoy the ride. Now, I, being at the uh, Outlander event, obviously, uh, you see a lot of people that do off-road. And there is a couple, uh, Paul and, I want to say Holly, but I could be wrong, that rode these down the Mongol Rally. Uh, if you haven't heard of it, or haven't heard of them, then go and look them up. Uh, and I was listening to their talk and they had uh, no real mechanical issues I think they had a because an engine uh, a bolt wasn't in properly they had a slight oil leak but that was it and these things, their bikes are still uh, here, they're still running, they're at the show. I probably should go and get some photos. Um, Holly had, I so hope I'm getting the name right, she had her stolen, uh, so with damaged locks and the fact she uses it for work as well now, um, they nicked, they harvested a few bits and pieces off falls. Um, just to keep her going because he has a, a CB500X as well. Uh, I think this is the right way. So, um, if you want proof of tough, then uh, look no further. But can pull away in third, it doesn't really like it, and we'll uh, just go over the bike. I'm going to stick it in this. Wee! Now the reason I'm so uh, 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 with it is um, this is the first 
bike I've ever ridden with uh, linked brakes so it's a bit of an odd sensation and I will get into that in a second but just take the key out so the top boxes what you see is what you get including a center stand including all the crash protection uh, undoing this one obviously it's got the exhaust cut out for the so you're not getting too much in there, but a bit of snack, bit of food. Uh, the top won't get you a helmet, but it will get you a few bits and pieces in. Probably max height, you're probably going to get a couple of boxes, a couple of bits of pop. And this is, I think, the biggest pannier. And uh, they're small, but they're relative to the bike. Um, if you put a big Givy fuel set on there, um, you would be overweighting it very quickly. Being that these are plastic, I imagine they're going to be quite light. Um, that's not really much to say about it. It is a, a Toro exhaust. It does have a baffling. I'd be curious to see what it sounded like without a baffle. Uh, and yeah, this, it's plain and simple. And we've not got, we've not got any life why there's quite a bit of fuel in there Ah, I know why we're not getting life. Side stands down, which actually, it could do with a light telling you about the side stand. Yep. So the moment, even though it's in neutral, it cuts out straight away. So you can't warm it up on the side stand, uh, which is actually slightly irritating. So what we'll just have to do, in a bit of a, is grab the centre stand. And yeah, it's just a basic, basic little bike. And we'll just put the uh, hazards on. LEDs. In fact, I can feel that exhaust blow here. You got a USB charger. Analog rev gauge, rev counter, uh, just the usual things. USB charger and, and that is it. It's first gear pull away is lovely and smooth. Sec second's not too bad. Yeah, you've got to really sort of wind it a bit, he says. You've got to wind it, but that's because it's a, a one, two, five. Of course, you're going to have to wind the throttle. And uh, the one thing is, it's not using skinny tyres, which is so nice to see, because I hate the look of the... Although it's a discontinued bike, the Honda CBF125 and the Yamaha YBR. Although the YBR is just rebranded as something else. I hate the fact they have skinny tyres on them.
but this is near a full size. But I got to talk about the elephant in the room, and that is linked brakes. Now, from what I understand, the 2020 version will not have them. Uh, I, will, I will put up if I'm wrong, but it is really irritating me and annoying me and this is purely because I'm not used to it I reckon with time I'd probably be okay that as I apply the rear the whole thing sort of squats I think it just Yeah, that front just, I'm not sure what the, the, the rear shock is doing, but the front is definitely diving. Um, to me, if I do pull my front brake hard, I expect my front to dive, not when I tap my rear. I like to trail brake slightly with the rear brake. Um, so the fact that I can't do it is... I, I can, but it takes a lot of learning, it's a really, I don't know, it just doesn't feel great. Now I get that they with this bike, and this model year that it is, um, they had to put linked or ABS on, linked is cheaper. Um, when I pull the front, I don't notice anything on the back. It just feels like that back brake is that back brake is intrusive to the front. With the filterage, thank you, kind lass or lad. And it doesn't feel, and it doesn't look like the rear crash protection stick doesn't stick out further than the handlebar. Yeah, that linked brake system I'm just starting to get used to. Just starting to get used to it. So uh, I think there's no vehicle pass on, on this bike. It's fine, I'm supposed to be here. I'll just off-road it. So yeah, all that's left for me to say is take care, ride safe. See you in the next one. Oh, thanks to Sinis for allowing me to take both bikes out.